Today on the channel, we're talking the low level jet because quite honestly, we haven't talked about it enough on this channel. This thing drives tornadoes, big tornadoes, evening and overnight especially. Let's talk about it right after this. Hello everybody, my name is Rachel Center and this is Tornado Titans. Where weather is for everybody and you, well, I'm so glad you've joined us because today we're talking the low-level jet. The low-level jet is one of those things that we don't talk about enough, but it really is like, especially on the Great Plains and even into the southeast in the cool season, it's the thing that drives big tornado events because this thing, you take those low level winds in the lower atmosphere and they just crank up towards sunset and past sunset. And this is how so many big tornadoes are born. Now the low level jet forms just about every day during the spring in the Great Plains and even into the Southeast. There are two ways the low level jet will form. One is nocturnally driven. It's that cooling of the atmosphere that drives that wind northwards, or it is a upper level storm system causing a low pressure center and just like really crank bringing that wind along with it as well. Both of those things can drive low level jets. Oftentimes they're working in tandem and those are when we get the big time tornado outbreaks on the plains. So when we're talking about the low level jet forming uh, at night and the nocturnal, the nocturnal low level jet. We're talking about that cooling of high level air uh, in relation to the other air further east. This is causing a pressure gradient to, which causes that wind to flow from warmer east air to the cooler west air. Now a couple of things to think about with the nocturnal low level jet. The first one is that it's strengthening through the night. It's usually strongest just before the morning. So those low level winds are cranking higher and higher through the night. If you can keep surface based storms, the tornado threat's gonna continue through most of the night in that regard. Most of the time though, especially on the plains, what happens is the surface layer does cool and the storms then get rooted above the surface and the tornado threat kind of eases. But that doesn't mean that it happens every time. There are many cases where you get tornadoes into the night. Then low level jet, this nocturnally driven low level jet is definitely the reason why you get so many tornadoes, big, big tornadoes on the Great Plains in that late afternoon and early evening. And just as a note in the middle of this video, if you like what you're seeing, be sure to subscribe because quite honestly, we do a lot of education on this channel. We use real storms, we chase, we educate. It's a lot of fun. Join us. Let's get back to the content. Now that we know how the low level jet forms, let's talk about what it does to an environment because why does this drive tornadoes, right? Like, let, let's talk about that for a second. The first thing, and I mean, it, it seems obvious, but I think it needs to be said, is that this, th this increase with winds increases the low level wind shear. The holograph goes from something like this to something like this. Uh, you can see uh, this holograph is just getting a lot larger through the evening hours and it's because of those stronger low level winds. Another thing it does though, is it brings that higher theta air northwards. It can increase the instability in the atmosphere. This can oftentimes offset surface cooling and keep storm surface space for a lot longer. So you always want to keep in mind that when that low level jet is cranking into a surface based supercell, when it's really getting going, well, things can certainly get a little wild. Here's the Let's keep going. Oh, that was too much lightning. There's a couple of ways you, storms can really be affected by the low level jet. We talked about one, how it impacts tornado formation. It can really do a few other things too. This increasing of low level winds can actually induce lift in the atmosphere, which might produce a lot of storms. This happened a few times this year. It also can take a super so it's just so, so, and just kick it into overdrive, kind of like this. What is it this point? 
finally I got that. I was like, why the heck is this not showing up? Yeah, you got a good road that goes south a half a mile east here. Just in case. So the low level chat is just this absolutely bananas thing that happens on the Great Plains and in the Southeast US and really brings tornado events home to roost. So with that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. There's a lot in here. You should definitely check out, if you like this video, check out some of our basics. If you're trying to figure out what, if you need to work backwards, there's the basics playlist. Also, if you are trying to work forwards, check out our photographs video series by Cameron Nixon. It's incredible. And with that said, remember, weather is for everybody. That includes you. So keep learning and we'll see you next time.